हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अ टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम गेट एग्जाम ऑफ 2015 I'll read out the statement and then explain it to you side by side. Just don't be afraid by looking at the length of statement. This is actually a easy one. Okay, so a positive edge triggered D flip flop is connected to a positive edge triggered J K flip flop as follows. The Q output of D flip flop is connected to both J and K inputs of J K flip flop. See Q output of D flip flop. This one is connected to both J and K inputs of this J K flip flop. Next line is while the Q output of J K flip flop is connected to input of D flip flop. So this Q output of J K flip flop is connected to input of D flip flop. Okay, this is how this circuit is designed. Initially, the output of D flip flop is set to logic one. And output of J K flip flop is cleared. That means this output is one, this output is zero. Which of the following is the bit sequence, including the initial state generated at Q output of J K flip flop, when the flip flops are connected to a free running common clock? Assume that J is equal to K is equal to one is toggle mode, and J is equal to K is equal to zero is state holding mode. Of the J K flip flop, both flip flops have non-zero propagation delays. Okay, they are saying we have designed such a circuit where this output is currently one, this output is currently zero. So I am naming them Q D and Q T. Why have I named this output as Q T? See, this is actually a T flip flop. Whenever Both J and K are connected to each other. J K flip flop behaves as a T flip flop. That means if this input, whatever is connected to both J and K, that is T input of this T flip flop. If this is one, now see T input is one. In that case, this T flip flop will toggle its output. Okay, output is zero. Upon giving a clock, it will become one. If T is equal to zero. It will not toggle. Okay. Now have a look. They are saying when J is equal to K is equal to one, this is the toggle mode. That means when T is one. When both of them are zero, that means when T is equal to zero. So that one is the state holding mode. So it's just the normal behavior of a J K flip flop. Nothing new. Now let us see what will be the next state. T input or both J and K are one. That means we have to toggle its output. This zero will become one. Okay, so in next state, zero becomes one. And what happens to this flip flop? This input was zero before giving a clock. Okay, before giving a clock, this D input was zero. And whatever is D input will be the next output. So zero will be shifted here like this. Okay, so current state is zero one. I am changing these numbers. This is zero. This is one. Now, say what? Say we give the next clock now. This is zero. That means zero zero. Or we can simply say it is a T flip flop with T input as zero. T input as zero means we will not toggle. We will just retain the previous state. So this is one. It will still be one upon giving a clock signal. So this will remain one only. And this input. Will be shifted here. Okay, so this one also becomes one. Now let us see what happens on next clock. Both of the outputs are currently one one. This one means toggle it. So I'm toggling. This one will just shift here. Okay, like this. That means one zero zero one one one. Again back to one zero. Okay. They were asking what is the output sequence. Of J K flip flop. That means output sequence at this point. Let us see. Initial value is zero. Okay, so zero. Then next value is one. Then next value is one. Then it comes back to zero. Then next value will be one. Then next value will be one. Again zero. So zero one one zero one one zero one one zero and so on. Let us see which option is correct. It is option A, zero double one zero double one zero double one zero and so on. Okay. Now let's also fill this table. 
see whatever is qt that will be shifted in qd so qt is 0 1 0 1 shift it as it is in qd and whenever qd is 1 upon giving a clock this will toggle so qd is 1 in these two cases that means this value will get complemented and it will come here okay so one complement sorry zero complement is 1 one complement is 0 and in these two cases qd is 0 that means we won't toggle 0 and 1 will be written as it is okay so from here also you can see what will be your answer See, they are saying current state is 1, 0. That means this one. Okay. Now, this input QT, sorry, this output QT is 0. In next state, it is 1. Now, we are in state 0, 1. From state 0, 1, the next one is 1, 1. That means again this value is 1. So, currently if we are in 1, 1 state, that is here, in the next state, this value is 0. Okay. So it will be 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and so on. Let us now also draw the state sequence diagram. Okay. 0, 0 goes to 0, 0 only. Okay. So on 0, there is a self loop. 0, 1 goes to 1, 1. That means 1 goes to 3. 1 goes to 3. 3 goes to 2. And 2 goes back to 1. Okay. So this is the state sequence diagram. Okay. 